Ladies and gentlemen, most likely everybody who's watching this loves Rushable. The reason why a lot of you guys are here, you know what I'm saying? We don't touch grass, There's dust in our rooms, we don't open our windows, there's no oxygen flow. We play Rushable all day. The game is fantastic, all right? It has broken many records on the App Store, Google Play Store. But I'm gonna be breaking down some of the things that I feel like Rushable can add to their game, kind of take it above and beyond into the universe with Thanos. So without further ado, let me get my app developer glasses on and let's get started. Now I know Retro Bowl requires a lot of programming, a lot of code that I don't know anything about. War loops and uh, if statements and you know what I mean? There's a lot of that stuff going on and I know a lot of people play the game for its simplicity. All right, I, I, that's why I play the game. But these are just some suggestions. Feel free to add yours in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's just get into it, man. First, we're gonna break down the stuff that's not gameplay related. I think everybody and their moms wants an online mode on Retro Bowl. However, my type of online mode I feel like is different. I know it could require a lot of work. Her a server could be expensive. I have no idea, but I feel like if there was a way you could make a connected franchise mode where you have you and your buddies all join in on a league, everybody has to finish their games before we move on to the next week. That I feel like would create a lot of engagement for the game, but that seems like a lot. So I have an alternative as well. I feel like they could also add an online play now mode just for true retro bowl enjoyers. All right, true anti grass activists. You get in the same lobby, do an online play now. It doesn't count for anything. Doesn't count for any league. It's just for purely competitive spirits and bragging rights, all right? I feel like that would help as well. Next on my list is stats for other teams. Right now, you can only see standings, but if you're able to see league stats and league leaders, who's leading league in yards, you know what I mean? Throwing yards, passing touchdowns, rushing touchdowns, receiving touchdowns, reception. Just start out as offensive stats, then transition into defensive stats, you know what I'm saying? Two separate updates, you know what I mean? I got you, Simon. That would be cool as well, especially because there's a lot of player movement that happens in my franchises, and I'm sure that happens in yours, where, you know, you get rid of a QB or you get Get rid of a receiver to another team. It'd be nice to see how they're doing on the other team. What is that, bro? Why do I look like Brangle. Next up, I have scouting. This might be more complicated on the game side, but I just feel like it's a little bit on the easier side with the scout points. But, you know, you don't want to overcomplicate things, but even just a little depth, like finding out what school the player went to. Or maybe something like if you didn't do your scouting or if your staff isn't upgraded, the rating of the player and the potential are both not 100%. So for example, if I see a four-star player and I have like the Seahawks scouting department and I draft a player, he could end up being three-star instead. Something like that, all right? Next, trading, all right? I want to be able to trade for players not just draft picks all right and i want other teams to offer me players to trade right now when you receive a trade from another team you're only allowed to give away draft picks but if you could counter offer and then throw one of your players back at them they accept or decline that would be pretty cool now we want to keep it simple you know so i don't know about opening up a whole trade menu but something small like when you press trade for your own player it could show up another player off another team and then you can view that player see if you want to do that trade or not kind of explore you know and maybe week by week there are new trades that pop up for that specific player that you wanted to trade you know what i mean does this make any sense i don't really know but let's move on roster shares now this could be an online feature or it could honestly be an offline feature i think it'd be better if it was an online feature people can make their own rosters so for example maybe a college team roster nfl legends roster or like a wwe roster where you have like john cena as your running back and it's community shared you know what i mean so everybody would post their rosters on the community tab and if you want to play a specific type of franchise you click it you download it i think that'd be nice but if it's confirmed that there is no online mode happening even some roster shares posted by retro bowl with you know custom jerseys custom names listed somewhere in the settings or something to be able to import would be pretty nice as well next up i have custom jersey numbers and retirement numbers just a small detail a little touch you know what i mean this is something definitely retro bowl can add now obviously it's 2d so you know you can't see the number of the players but i don't know i just feel like it just adds another depth of connection with your player you know you retire his number nobody else can ever have that number again you know i don't know it's, it's something just some cool last but not least on my main Menu related updates I have contract negotiations like I said we don't want to overcomplicate things so maybe even just one counter offer to the player could help because salary cap is hard to come by in the game all right you got to save up a lot of CC for that so if you can negotiate the dollar amount or even just the amount of years I think that would also help as well but now let's move on to some of the gameplay related updates that I would like to see first things first I want to substitute my players mid game for example let's say I drafted three wide receivers one of them would be on the bench 
Boom, one guy. Starts playing like Laquan Treadwell. I hit the pause menu, yank him out of the game, sub in my third guy, and see how he does. I think that would be really cool. If you draft extra quarterbacks, you can sub in a quarterback for the second half. If you're raising a rookie, you know what I mean? You want to get him in the fourth quarter in a blowout, get him some reps, maybe get him some more XP. I think that would be pretty cool, man. Next up, playing defense. Everybody wants to see this feature. Now, I don't think Retro Bowl will add playing defense. You know, Simon has literally said that there will never be a defense mode on Retro Bowl, but I have some alternatives. You know what I'm saying? I have some compromise. The first one would work kind of like how the punt menu works. You know, where you can decide to go for a fourth down or a punt. Instead, on defense, you're going to have options like blitz, zone, man. And let's say if you chose blitz, obviously there's a higher chance you get a sack or a loss of yards, but there would also be a higher chance of a long play happening on your team. If you play zone, there's less of a chance a big play or a passing play happens, but the other team can gash you on the ground. I feel like that'd be pretty cool. Let me know your thoughts. Opponent timeout. Just to add some realism into the game. The opponent's down by a touchdown and they're on a two-minute drive. Just let them throw in some timeouts. You know what I mean? Penalty flags. Now, this could piss a lot of people off, but I've seen enough PIs, all right? I've seen enough rough in the passers. A couple flags would definitely help, all right? We don't want to extend the game. However, I feel like adding flags both on the offense and on your defense would be pretty cool and I honestly think it would be pretty funny as well. Differences in extreme difficulty. Now, I don't play extreme too often, but I feel like there should be a difference between a 2 and 14 extreme team and a 16 and 0 extreme team. But currently, they both play the same. I feel like one of them should be like extreme and one of them should be like extreme. Ex extreme. Halftime stats. Another small detail, you know what I mean? Just to see how the players are doing, who's hooping, who's messing up the game plan. It'd be nice to check at any point of the game when you press pause, but to start out, let's just add it at halftime, you know what I mean? Just to add a little spice to the game. Last but not least, a coin toss. Another easy menu, either at the start of the game or at the start of OT, especially in overtime. Adding a coin toss would be pretty nerve-wracking. Well, that's it for my Retro Bowl shopping list, man. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Feel free to leave more opinions, man. Like I said, I love Retro Bowl. Yeah, well, fine somebody that loves retro ball more than me and we all want to see more improvements and updates to the game all right and leave a like and follow me on twitch please leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are new i will be giving away a million dollars to every person who clicks the subscribe button so um if you subscribe you're pretty much jeff bezos